Hey everybody, it's your boy Iconic, back at it again with another unboxing video. Uh, today's item I'm actually quite excited for it to do. I've been waiting for this figure for a while. Um, I did pick it up at a store event that I went to today. Um, the store is called uh, Toronto Collective. If anyone who's from Toronto, you know Spadina. They're right up along uh, Spadina near uh, towards college. Kind of had like a little bit of a comic book event thing i'm not going to get into too, uh, too much detail but they did have this on display and i'm still waiting for mines that i ordered but i picked it up anyways um so it's a crossover uh from the lightning collection of power rangers and street fighter uh so it's pretty much the street fighter character ryu who uh gains the ability to become a power ranger which i believe he's called the co uh, cosmic hawk ranger i just go with the hawk ranger to be honest um his first appearance was with the mobile app fighting game if memory serves me correct but they did end up introducing him into the console uh battle for the grid um i think he's on the last season's pass with him and uh chung lee which i think hers is like the phoenix ranger but let me know in the comments uh, down below just to give myself some correction but yeah we'll take like a quick look at the box the box art's really nice i do like the little pose that they do and stuff like that um so yeah pretty much lightning collection power rangers cross uh, street fighter so you get a little bit of a silhouette of you not morphed into his like ranger form kind of kind of drawn down to the fact that they give him like a the chest uh, shield because of like the green and white ranger but let's move on we have like some really cool like a uh, box art like that so let me make sure you guys don't get like too much of a glare but it's really nice and then a demorph version and then back there he does come with some extra pieces as you guys could see i like how they like tell you like how many uh, centimeters he's about like he's in the game he's about like six one in real life so they kind of like do that and then uh, he has like a fireball um for his like hadouken or hydoken or hadouken everyone says it very differently but we digress with that and then he comes with a, another like fire attack which looks like the bird and i believe that one's for his kick um not too much uh, the box i really do like I'm not gonna you know keep it because you know i got way too many boxes but uh, just to kind of give people an interesting tip they are starting to make recycle free boxes if you guys can see that so you know hasbro's trying to be environmentally friendly um but yeah other than that, just like an age restriction right there four plus but whatever so let's get to open the box right now hey everybody i just got it back unboxed uh ryu right here on a nice little rotating display so you guys can uh admire the awesomeness of the hawk ranger and stuff like that but before i kind of continue showing you the accessories and the figure i did want to mention the the kind of uh this is the the plastic that the accessories come in i thought it was like a really cool thing that they did but like i don't know if you could see it you could see like the pterodactyl the macedon and the tyrannosaurus right here so you do see the characters that are going to be part of this line so i'm just going to flip that you do see uh sorry ryu chung lee Ken and Cammy. I think those four are going to be part of this like set. Um, that's why I kind of wanted to show this. It's actually kind of like a neat little thing. But I'm probably just going to stick with Ryu and Ken. They're pretty much like my go-to characters that when I usually play Street Fighter anyways. And Ken's probably going to be in my favorite color, which I believe he's going to be the Red Ranger. But anyways, um, another thing that comes with it, it is the stand for like uh, Ryu's like fireballs that he gets. And um, I don't know if you guys noticed, I did switch out the, the fist. He has like an open hand uh, to kind of do like the fireball. I switched it to the fist because it kind of looked better on uh, the platform here, but I will still show that. So one of the things you get is obviously Ryu's fireball. I don't know if it like changes the name in any way, but it's quite the, uh, very detailed. It kind of looks like the EX version of his uh, normal fireball and there's that then there's this one right here which is for his foot as you saw on the front of the box but uh yeah that's that so it just slides in like right there and he does have another fireball where which is like the hawk um this is a little bit bent on this side so i do recommend putting like maybe like a flat surface or being careful when you open it but yeah uh, very uh finely detailed so i thought it kind of looked cool it's just like coming in coming out with the cricket wing and then the last thing is I will show you his posable hands. 
So these were the hands that were on him. And they're very... Okay, so another thing I got to mention. Taking these things out were a very big pain in the butt. Um, they're really in there and the type of plastic they use is kind of very smooth. So, fair warning, just make sure your like, hands are clean or you have like a good grip on it. Because I almost struggled to take them out. But anyways, we're going to take them off the platform. And I know how cool that platform is, but we're going to take like a quick look like how fairly detailed that hel helmet is right there. So, so right there, you can see the helmet of like the hawk with the red with the gold and the bit of the yellow. Uh, he has full articulation. He still keeps his headband, which I thought was like a cool thing that they kind of did. Um, he does have his own chest piece, which uh, this kind of like drawn me into it. They kind of gave him like the Green Ranger slash... Uh, white ranger treatment uh in the uh, torso you do see some gold uh, strips his morpher he does like have like a hawk kind of uh power coin so his uh, torso part he does have a uh, full motion on mid torso uh, upper torso sorry mid torso he has like a full-on flex on a uh, what's it called a crank joint or a really like stiff joint um Kind of my biggest thing that I don't like is the legs. Uh, some of the legs are like, it, one side's looser than the other. I kind of, I think it's like on one joint that allows them to do like some weird poses that I think some people might be doing it, but overall it's not too bad. It, it's Hasbro. Um, with Hasbro, obviously you kind of get the full knee articulation as you can see right there. Um, like with any Hasbro product, you kind of have to work the joints and obviously, um, be very careful with that uh yeah it's just like the one thing i was kind of uh pretty much the same gold and then with the flat but there is something i do want to mention so like in the center it kind of looks like a yellow ish and then from like the sides as you can see here his like muscles and stuff are like that uh it is white i think inside the the like when he was first introduced i think it was like that i'm not 100 percent sure but it was kind of like, I felt like it should have just stayed one color. But anyways, another fine detail I like is they gave him his gloves that he wears when he fights. I like that little detail right there. Mine's a little, little weird. So as you can see there, on to that one. I do like how he has the fist better. But overall, I do like the details on this figure. Uh, the back full on strike. So, and let's play some back right here let's see if i can uh, give you guys a bit of a zoom yeah so honestly i was actually pretty happy that hasbro was actually gonna go into this i didn't know because like hasbro lately has been kind of up in the air for me especially with like some of their other products but like I always say, like my catchphrase goes, we digress with that. Um, I do enjoy this. I believe this figure in converted Canadian, it's about $40, $45. Um, I do recommend not trying to pay more for it because it is still a new figure. It's not like rare or anything like that. So if you guys do see retailers have it, um, if you're a big Power Rangers or Street Fighter fan like I am, uh, I feel like it's a must buy. Um, Overall, I give the solid like figure a solid like eight and a half, nine, because you know I'm a bit of a fanboy. But you know, we digress with that. But anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. Before we call it a night, sorry, or a day, wherever your time zone is, um, don't forget to like the video, comment, and also if you are a new uh person on my channel don't forget to also subscribe hit the bell and turn it on to all so you can get all my iconic videos the pun is there kind of works and uh to make sure your notifications on on your app so you have that as well um but yeah because i am noticing that a lot of people are starting to view my videos but not subscribing so it doesn't hurt to do it it helps the channel and i want it to grow and stuff like that but yeah um i want to get to at least a thousand for the new year that's my new goal um, if I do, I am going to be doing some raffling for some stuff that I kind of have a little stashed away, but you know, we got to come together. But anyways, that's it. This is your boy Iconic calling it for today.